Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, where we encounter a sovereign citizen, well, who just doesn't believe the laws really apply to him because the Constitution says so. And he ends up, well, with a shiny new pair of bracelets. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy. Joy the show in the United States. Yes, are you sure? You bring that one on radio. I just left the uh, precinct on this. Can I get a supervisor to make Grand River stand very on a self initiated traffic? Stand by one moment. I just left radio, the police uh, station on this. Well. Yes, I did. Do you have a driver's license registration? I don't need a driver's license, no registration. In the Constitution, I do not need neither. Hey, a smooth brain soft hard. Have you ever bothered to even read anything beyond the uh, coloring book? Because if you actually read the Constitution, you would understand that, well, the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and every state does that, especially Michigan. And yes, and Michigan has driver's license laws and everything like that to govern those who are traveling on the public roadways to make sure everything is hunky-dory. So that way, if you get in a collision and have to pay off somebody because of damages and everything like that, everything is all kosher, as much as it can be. Constitution is a secured liberty. The United States Constitution, it trumps everything. My, oh my, we certainly got someone here who's really devoted to drinking the lead paint, isn't he? I mean, dude, if you actually read it, like I said before, then you would understand that it, that, well, it's not that simple, dude, because of the Tenth Amendment. Why don't you try actually reading it instead of using it for whatever it is you use it for, because you certainly don't read it. Do you have any paperwork for this car, sir? I'll stay silent. Okay. What's your first name, sir? Yeah, motor one. I'm trying to get find I'll stay silent. Okay. You won't provide any paperwork or identification. Two four. How you doing, sir? Beautiful. Beautiful. Everything all right? Of course. Good? Yes. Just make sure you're good, my man. That's I'm good. Doing. Just exercising my constitutional right. And what is this? Freedom to travel. It doesn't apply to Michigan like that. Who told you that? The Constitution? My, the my Constitution system. of the United States? Well, listen. Let me just explain something to you. Real quick. I don't care. You can practice whatever you want to practice. I don't have nothing. It's not a practice. It's I'm a, just telling you. It's all law. I'm, I'm going to tell you one thing, and, and, and this is what's going to happen. I'm just going to tell you this, all right? And where are you going to provide this officer something? Get your ID, your driver license, identification. In order to be in a motor vehicle in the state of Michigan, you need to have a driver license. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. The Constitution says I don't. I don't care. Hey, dude, uh, let me ask you something. Uh. Where does it say in the Constitution that you don't need a driver's license? Because, well, here's how it works. There are seven articles and 27 amendments. And the, first, and the seven uh, articles are about how the government is supposed to be set up. And the, 26, the first 10 of the 26 amendments are the Bill of Rights that you so hold so dear. And the 10th Amendment uh, of that says that we are uh, that the states are allowed to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. So uh, can you please 
provide a citation as to where it says that in the Constitution, dude, because inquiring minds want to know your what your where your fantasy actually comes from. Oh, you don't care about it right now. Are you sure that you don't care about it? Yes, I What's do. your name, young man? Officer Ibrahimovic, badge number fourteen seventy. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so so you're trying to be totally uh, halfway aggressive with me. I'm not aggressive. I'm just telling you. You're just telling me. You. Yeah. How, how are you telling me something that I, I know better? To tell you. How do you want me to approach you and tell you? You're, how you, ma- how, you, you, how you, you should approach me. You should approach me with the law, the supreme law. Oh, sorry to burst your bubble, you dumbass, but that supreme law is what's allowing him to do this right now because, as I said. Tenth Amendment, dude. Learn the Constitution instead of what some uh, sovereign citizen guru told you at some Kool-Aid drinking event, you bloody moron. That is not supreme. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. Oh, okay. You're telling right. me what's going to happen? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, that's about it. You know what I mean? That's what's going to happen. I'm not trying to get your car impounded. I'm not trying to get you arrested, but that's what's going to happen. Oh, it is? Yes, sir. Oh, then come on, arrest me. All right, step on all sides. By all, by all means. Thank you. Excuse me. Come on. Oh, this is- Man, oh man, you gotta love the Dunning-Kruger effect. It turns simple-minded buffoons like this into uh, constitutional YouTube law scholars, which it really never ends well for any of these guys. I mean, will they ever learn? Perhaps not, because like I said, Dunning-Kruger effect, they know just enough to think they know everything, but not enough to know that they don't know crap about it anything about the topic but let's carry on shall we secure it oh what else officer i'm being arrested no, don't take nothing off me. You, you don't have the right to nope. touch me no, at all. No, I have the right to put my handcuffs on you because you've been yes. arrested. Let me see your other hand. Put it behind your back, sir. Can I see you? Whenever you're ready, okay? I want to make you feel comfortable. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Relax, relax, relax. And, well, there you have it, folks. Another sovereign citizen who thinks he knows everything but guess what if he would take a little bit of time and actually read the constitution read the case laws behind it and read everything else that he could he would understand how wrong he is but no that would be a lot more difficult than it would be to just pretend that you know everything so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one